Bless you out there, global Christian friend, pastors, saints, and churches around the globe. Uh, we are in Luke chapter 12. Uh, we just finished 21. So is he that lifts up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. We said we'll go here in one scripture, Second Chronicles 16 and 9, which says this. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. You notice that? Whose heart is perfect toward him? I don't understand teaching and preaching imperfection. If you're not perfect, how can your heart be perfect toward God? How can you be rich toward God or rich in God? You have to understand this. This is end time teaching. And uh, out of your Bible, not costing you one penny, but you can hear it for yourself. Don't matter who you are. Don't matter about your status in life. Doesn't matter about race, creed, or color. It's all about the Lord and you. Period. God is no respecter of persons when that person is no respecter of God. Now, let's look at not worrying about tomorrow in verse 22, 12, 22. Companion scriptures, Matthew 6, 25 through 34, 19 through 21. Companion scripture. Now, Luke 12, 22. And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto thee, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for your body, what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Now, consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouses nor barns. Think about that. And God feed them. How much more so are ye better than they? He specified the ravens, but he generalized the fowls. Notice that? Specified the ravens, but generalized the fowls. And which of you, by taking thought, can add to his statue one cubit? Hmm. Verse 26, if ye then be not able to do that thing, that thing, T-H-I-N-G means growth as well, which is least, and uh, growth is the least 
when you compare growth to uh, light, when you compare growth to water, all right, growth would be the least. Why take ye thought of the rest? Consider the lilies how they grow. They toil not, they spend not. And yet I say unto you that Solomon, in all of his glory, we've gone through that before, was not arrayed like one of these. If then God uh, so clothe the grass which is today in the field and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? Now in the days when God was with Israel, he said, there are children that have no faith. Deuteronomy 32 and 20, somewhere there about. In the days of Jesus, he said, <laughs> you got little faith. No, you know, coming from no faith unto little faith. But yet he spoke about those that had great faith. But they were not of Israel. O ye of little faith, 29. And seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. Now you notice he didn't say a doubtful mind. He said, neither be ye of doubtful mind. Uh, don't consider the idea of thinking, period. Because once you start thinking, doubt is going to sit in. Your mind is not going to be perfect toward God. Uh, let God think your mind. You love him with all your mind. And let him think and rethink your mind. As a matter of fact, the Bible said, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. All right? Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Hmm. Won't be it out there at the time. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after. Now, mind you, the Lord God hath under the whole heavens all the nations in his charge. Think about that. For well, all these things do the nations of the world seek after. Here we go. And your father know it. Now, as I said before, I would uh, uh, stop here and get me a ladder. Uh, I would stop here and climb aboard a satellite headed for this helpful and need for knowledge. Anytime you say your father knoweth, it's time to stop and reconsider. Wait a minute. Stop letting your mind run amok at moments like this. Your father knoweth. You need to get a ladder and go up and find out what your father knoweth concerning you and about you. Don't just run away. Don't let your mind run away. From words like your father knoweth. On one occasion, your heavenly father knoweth. Which means you have to have a what kind of mind? Heavenly mind. Heavenly mind. Heavenly mind? Huh. God bless you. Your father knoweth that you have need of all these things. God bless you, farmers, military, scientists, America, servicemen, and pastors.